Jupiter is a strange planet that keeps getting stranger. And NASA's space probe Juno is revealing just how weird the extraordinary gas giant is. Even before we got there, we knew it was the biggest, the most intense in every single way. The most intense aurora, the most intense magnetic field, so many unknowns, a lot of it hasn't been seen before, no one had ever seen the poles before. So many things that Juno is doing is completely brand new. The planet is a big ball of the gases hydrogen and helium, with tiny amounts of other chemicals like ammonia, methane, and water. On Earth, helium rises, but underneath Jupiter's outermost layer, it condenses into rain-like droplets that pull neon away from the surface. Even further below the surface, hydrogen gas might be squeezed into a fluid known as metallic hydrogen, which may conduct electricity. That conductive fluid may be what gives Jupiter its powerful magnetic field. This field creates dazzling auroras when high-energy particles enter Jupiter's atmosphere. Jupiter's spinning once every 10 hours. A thousand Earths would fit inside Jupiter. Imagine a dynamo spinning that fast, creating a magnetic field. It's incredibly intense and it's incredibly large. It stretches all the way back to Saturn. There's really nothing like it in the solar system that we can relate to. Though Juno is unable to enter Jupiter's atmosphere, it can see a couple hundred miles through its exterior clouds using a microwave radiometer. The planet's intense environment makes it unlikely that we'll be able to send Juno or any other probe deep into Jupiter's interior. But scientists are finding other ways to see inside the planet's atmosphere. For example, they measure its gravitational field by the way it affects the radio waves Juno emits. This can help NASA determine if the planet has a solid core. Juno is also equipped with an instrument called a star tracker, basically a camera and navigation system that helps Juno determine its orientation in space. Our investigation decided to take an image of Jupiter's rain and it was taken while we were inside the ring looking out at it. And that has never been done before. It was also able to discover two new radiation zones in the high latitudes near the planet. In this radiation zone, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur ions move at almost light speed. Before it degrades and inevitably crashes into the planet, Juno's goal is to help NASA understand how Jupiter formed and evolved. By doing so, we can better understand the origins of our solar system. While we're pretty certain that there are no forms of life on Jupiter, it is possible that life could exist on its icy moon, Europa. There is evidence that an ocean of water exists beneath Europa's icy exterior. One day, we may fully unlock Jupiter's mysteries, but the one thing we know for sure is that Jupiter is far more beautiful than we ever suspected.